Nate Silver is a guy who started uh, 538. He's a pollster, and he has looked at all the numbers. I was just on that site, and they are grim right now for Joe Biden. He put this out on Substack. Is that his headshot? I guess yeah, so. That's He's him. not even paying attention. There he is right there. <laughs> Nate says of Joe Biden, if Joe Biden can't keep up with the schedule of a typical sitting president running or for re-election or is prone to making errors when he does, voters in the media are going to notice that and Biden will wear his 80 plus years like an albatross around his neck. And so essentially what he's saying is maybe it's time for the Democrats to switch horses. And in fact, a guy from the Washington Post said it's not too late. Well, I think this was also a signal to the president as well as his Democrat allies that look, we the media cannot protect you this time. The last time we were able to insulate you because of COVID and all this, but the record is the record and you're gonna have to face the voters. We can't run editorial. We can't hide the Hunter Biden scandal and the corruption within the, you, you gotta make the case for yourself. Anthony. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he's, I don't think the media protecting him. I think the media yeah, wants him out. You can't. This Go. shouldn't be a big request. The president should be able to run a normal re-election campaign. And if he can't, and I think you bring up a good point, Lawrence, because you're right, during COVID, he was campaigning from his basement. Mm -hmm. We didn't see him that on was video issue, all the time. That was an issue, but he still won. So mm -hmm. in this case, we're watching him, bless his heart, trip on the stage. We're watching him not be able to find the stairs or fall down the stairs or have to go down the short stairs um, into Air Force One. And now. You know what this is built off of Jonathan Martin's column in Politico. Yeah. yeah. That goes into great detail, the magazine section, of how nobody thinks he can do the job, how his staff doesn't let him talk to the media. They don't let him talk anything about policy. He loses his temper uh, behind the scenes. They mock him behind the scenes Who's running of the his country? Irish temper. Uh, that's what the which campaign. brings me up another thing. That's what Trump keeps bringing up. They say it's gaffes. He says Obama. He goes, I, I corrected him and I said, You mean Biden? He goes, No. Obama is running this White House. Mm -hmm. He's convinced of it. There's no proof of that. But here's a quote from the Washington Post op-ed from Perry Bacon Jr. It he, says. He writes. All right, if Biden were the first woman, LGBTQ person, or person of color as president, there would be a strong case to reelect him, to show the country embraces leaders who aren't straight white men. <laughs> he, Perry also, I love it. <laughs> Perry also writes, Consider another candidate or at least have an open primary. Uh, he says, not too late, filing deadline for 2024 presidential candidates has only passed in a few states. And in those states, voters could actually uh, write in a Democratic candidate but and they could did win. Did you see the recommendations from this column? Yeah. The column was, have the Clintons handle the Middle East, the Black Caucus go re reconfigure the black vote, uh, forget about the term Bidenomics, get Rahm Emanuel back as ambassador to Japan to be an attack dog against Trump and vilify Trump. Guess what they've already done? They've called Trump Hitler 13 times yeah. over the weekend. Hillary Clinton kicked it off on The View. Yeah. So how much, after a while, people stop hearing it. They become numb to it. They're trying to rip Trump down because they believe he's going to be the nominee and, pro and Trump him, uh, prop him up, but they can't even prop well, him they, up. They've already sent out all their allies. The Bl Black Caucus is out there. Uh, Barack Obama is out there. All their media allies are out there. The American people are just sick of them. Yeah. I mean, they, they've done everything. And I think it's also important to notice in the column, they're saying, listen, Joe Biden just have it, doesn't have it, and you have no identity politics. That They're essentially saying they run candidates based on their ideology, their um, identity, mm -hmm. and he has none of that, so they can't protect them. He's not leaving. That's pretty sad. I, I feel like it's Leo DiCaprio in uh, Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not yeah. going anywhere. So he's not going anywhere, and Kamala Harris isn't going anywhere. So they can speculate all they want. They might like it. They're able to control him like a puppet from behind the scenes and do whatever they want with the country, and he'll do it. All you mm. need is an Easter bunny yeah. saying Mr. President that right. way. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.